Hey what's up I'm Amit I'm Microsoft AWS and Oracle certified and in this section I'll teach you how to pass Azure AI in an exam with flying colors. If you are on your way to Azure data scientist or you are a manager of any kind then AI 900 is a must exam for you. I highly recommend you please check out AZ 900 which will build foundational concept about Azure cloud if you are especially new to cloud concepts. Alright the first question is which scenario is an example of the conversional AI workload. So if we look at the keywords which I always do and which I always recommend also you to do in the real exam because many a times the question may be long and you may not be able to find the intent of the question and which will impact your results and finally uh, it will be difficult for you to pass the exam. So I always recommend mark the keywords in the real world and real exam question as well like me. So the keyword is conversional AI. So conversional AI if you look is nothing like it's like talking to someone. So imagine the options now. The first option is extracting three phases from student essays. So is this talking to someone like extracting key phases? Absolutely no. Next option is generating automatic descriptions for published images. Again, this is no way related to talking to someone. So this is again wrong. Using chatbot to answer common customer questions. Yes, this is related to talking because uh, it's answering your common questions. So we'll keep this aside for the timing. So last option is predicting whether customers should be targeted by a new marketing campaign. So again this is not related to conversional or it's not talking to someone. So we'll chalk this aside and if you know I always support my answers with documentation which you will and I bet you will hardly find anyone doing this because Supporting answers with documentation is the key step so that I ensure that you learn the correct answers. So if you look at the documentation under conversional bots, chatbot is there. So this is what the question is demanding. So option C is the correct option. Alright the next question is like dropping the correct option to the specific scenario or statement. So you'll find this type of question in real world exam as well. So be prepared for this. And if you look, we got to select the appropriate solution for computer vision. So computer vision is very popular service. So got to prepare. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon because it does motivates me a lot to put out content like AI 900. So the first statement is returning bounding box coordinates for all identified animals in a photo. So if you look at the keyword, I'm giving you the tip and tricks to answer this. So whenever bounding box is there, object detection should click in your mind. So this is the correct option for this. Next is pixel level classification of an image content. See whenever pixel level is there semantic segmentation should click your mind and the last statement is retrieval of printed text from a scan document whenever you're doing any kind of scanning from document invoices OCR optical character recognition should be the correct option for these all right there's interesting question related to OCR so which of the following is a scenario where you would need to use an optical character recognition solution. So if you look at the first option, the first option is evaluating compliance with building safety regulations. So this is absolutely nowhere related to like optical character like uh, it's related to compliance it's saying. So absolutely big no for this. Next option is processing invoices. So this looks to be the potential option for this, but we'll keep this aside for the timing. 
and let's scan through the other option next is identifying products in a warehouse location again no there is no way related to optical character recognition next is validating identity for access to business premises again this is related to validation uh, no way related to OCR so D is again wrong and will lock B as our final answer all right the next question is company needs to build an ai solution that can identify and disambiguate entities in your input text using wikipedia as its knowledge base which of the following azure cognitive service should you the company use so i have marked the keywords and it's got to identify and disambiguate entities entities in your input text using wikipedia as its knowledge base so if we look at the options the first option is custom vision so custom vision is a part of cognitive service and it allows us to train and deploy custom image classifiers like we can use our own set of images and labels so this is not we are looking next is form recognizer again it's a cognitive service like it's meant for text from forms etc and extracts key value pairs so form recognizer is again wrong next is bing auto suggest so again this is also a cognitive service and uh, bing search engine is used back to list the suggested queries so this is again over related to the input text using wikipedia so we are left out with text analytics so let's back my answer with official documentation so if you look knowledge base such as wikipedia is mentioned and it's in the text analytics if you look so that's what we are looking for and we'll lock text analytics as the correct answer for this question okay this is interesting question and you may get this type of question in real world exam as well so predicting stock market index values based on macro economic changes is an example of what machine learning scenario so if you look at the keyword it's very simple predicting stock market index values see this is a basic exam and whenever predicting is there number is there so regression should click in your mind other options are just a distractor so this is the correct option okay this is related to principles so interesting question and you may get many questions in real world exam so an hr ai system screens job candidates without taking into account personal factors such as age gender ethnicity or physical abilities so this is an example of applying which responsible ai principle i have marked the keywords so first is fairness so this looks to be the potential answer because in fairness we do this type of things like it's based on age gender etc so we'll keep this aside let's look at accountability uh, accountability is nothing like uh, it's like setting defined ethical and standards so b is wrong c is include inclusiveness so inclusiveness is nothing but like it's engaging everyone like all groups of people so the question is not asking about engaging everyone so it's taking into personal factors it may confuse you but uh, let me make it clear like inclusiveness is when some group of people is left out then uh, it's called principle of inclusiveness so this is not so last is transparency so transparency is like you need to understand how something is operating how the data is using so that is called transparency so we are left out with fairness and if you look at the official documentation under fairness it's clearly mentioned reduce disparities across different gender groups so this is in our keyword as well if you look so 
fairness is the correct option for this. Okay, again one interesting question. Analyzing X-ray images to detect whether a person has pneumonia is an example of what machine learning scenario. So this is very interesting. Obviously this can't be regression because you are not predicting anything and there are no numbers or anything. You just, if you look at the question, it's asking yes or no. Whenever yes or no is there and one thing should click in your mind. So that is classification. So clustering is also wrong because clustering is nothing because it groups everything under traits like similar similarities etc labels we can see data points so clustering is wrong we are left out with classification so classification is the correct option for this okay again interesting question related to principle so this is a company gives a clear explanation of how the banking AI system works and what factors it considers in approving mortgage applications which responsible AI principle is this an example of I marked the keyword so if you look at the first option it says fairness so in our last question I explained about fairness like it's related to like gender age etc so fairness is wrong transparency also explained like it's how the system operates so we'll keep this aside because this is what if you look at the question is also demanding because how AI system works and uh, factors it's considering so we'll keep transparency aside and let's look at the other option as well so the next option is inclusiveness so as I said like inclusiveness is nothing but including all groups of people so the question is not asking about including everyone so inclusiveness is wrong accountability last option so as an accountability you know it's principle like like when certain group of people is accountable for the actions like applying governance organization policies etc to meet some ethical standards so accountability is also wrong we are left out with transparency and transparency is the correct option for this okay the next question is drag and drop again and it's related to conversational ai workloads so if you like how i approach at the answers please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and select all because that's how i know that you'd like my content and you want this type of content more in the future so the statement is schedule meetings and appointments so whenever there is some personal related thing is there so personal digital assistant should click in your mind so this is the correct statement for this next is travel reservations and bookings so whenever you are doing travel reservations or any kind of bookings let's say you're booking a hotel or you're booking a plane you want the system to be conversional like it should talk to you chat with you answer your questions so what you will do you need a web chat so web chat is the correct option last is capturing feedback after an interaction with a call center so if you have already seen my previous videos i always say like whenever you are in this type of situation when one option is left it's a red zone because if you by chance select one op wrong options as one of the statements and you will be left out with one option so end of the day you will end up having two wrong options for one uh, question so it may lead into trouble so always verify like the last option which is left out is the correct always double check so the statement is capturing feedback after an interaction with a call center so whenever telephone line call this type of statement is there so telephone voice menu should fit your answer so these are the correct options for this okay this is one of the brainstorming question so the question says which azure cognitive service can you combine to recognize intents in voice commands choose two so 
I have marked the keyword. So the first option is form recognizer. So if you know form recognizer is related to like text or something. So it's not related to voice anyway. So we'll chalk this aside. Next is language understanding. So language understanding this looks to be correct because Louis as you know it's language understanding intelligence service that do helps so we'll keep this aside we got one option we need one more to lock our answer so the next is text translator again text translator is related to text so actually it's related to text to text multilingual translation so let's say you are translating from english to bangla or english to hindi so that falls into text translator category not voice intents so text translator is also wrong we are left out with speech and definitely we need speech to recognize the intents so language understanding and speech are the correct options so thank you so much for joining and do let me know if you want part 2 of ai 900 so let's meet again thank you so much